welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take it with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see cool art exhibits, buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. So what we have going on today is we're going to do some sketchbook work. I think getting into the new year can be especially hard. Uh, if like me, you took off time around the holidays, sometimes you just have a hard time getting going or on the opposite end, you might have a lot of pent up creative energy that you didn't spend over the holidays and then you just wanna throw it all on a canvas. And in my experience, when I kind of just jump into things hard and heavy, sometimes it doesn't come out as planned. So what I like to call this is my sketchbook warm up, And it sort of just helps me get back into the flow of things in the new year and lets me experiment a bit. And it might even inform the paintings or drawings I'm going to do. So I thought we could do a little sketchbook work together and see where it takes us. Let's get into it. I just kind of grabbed a random smattering of things. I have my carts next to me as well if I need more. And we're just gonna jump into this. Fresh sketchbook. Is there anything nicer? So little details about the sketchbook first. It is a Strathmore watercolor pad. There are 48 pages and it is 140 pound eight and a half by five and a half. So there you go. So I don't know about you guys, but sometimes working on the very first page on a brand new sketchbook somehow feels intimidating. Like if you were to ever share your sketchbook, that would be the first thing that would come up. So a trick for me to just get into it is I actually just like pick a random page in the middle and I feel like, okay, I can do whatever I want with it. So for this first page, I don't know why, I just feel like I wanna lay down a flat color to work on top of, and we want something that'll dry fairly quick. So I'm going to use my Liquitex. As you see, they still haven't been opened, some of them. Nice blue there. So we're gonna use this, get that out. Use every bit that we can as well just kind of smear this guy around. Just want to get a flat color down. So nothing particularly special. Just want something to work on top of and play with. gonna let that dry. Okay, I guess while that dries, we'll just work on this other side of the page. I'm not sure I wanna lay down a flat color quite yet. So I think what I'll do is maybe do another stroke of color and then we'll work in between it. Maybe yellow, yellow and blue and yellow. Thank you. 
shoot this brushes before they dry. You know, and the whole thing with the sketchbook is like, for me at least, like, yeah, don't be precious with it. Just have fun with it and see what comes out of it, you know? Right now I'm trying to open this one and you can see I've made a fine mess of it. There we go. So we'll use this lid again. Just work her in. All right, let these dry for another second, and then I'm gonna start working on top of it. So here's what things are looking like right now. I'm just gonna get in there. As you can see, it's dripped onto other pages. Don't care, don't care at all. We will incorporate it as we get through the sketchbook over time. So that is fine by me. I think we are dry now. So we're gonna do some work with Posca. As you can see, I made a fine mess of myself. <laughs> it's all good though. It just feels so good to be making something again. I know it's good to take time to rest and recharge, but I do get quite a bit of that pent up creative energy where I feel like I just need to throw something down on the page. I don't know what, just do something. <laughs> Do you guys ever feel that way if you haven't made something in a while? I don't know. I don't know what that is. What's good about these little warm ups, though, is just it kind of gets you back in the, like, the motion of it and kind of problem solving again. Because sometimes when you haven't been working for a while, those thought patterns change or they take a little vacation as well. So it's good to just wake it up. It's like if you're gonna do a workout, you do some stretching beforehand. This is our creative stretching, our creative warm up. I like to think. And even like this color choice. I was just like looking at my cart like what do I do and I, I just went for blue and orange because that feels comfortable and I know it works well together but we're going to have to experiment and get more dangerous right? We can't play in our comfort zone not in our sketchbook no way. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's kind of rainy outside. We have a rainy night here, so all the cars driving by can just hear that instead. Okay. Well, how about some colored pencils? What have we got in here? And I made this camera to set up difficult for me. I have it in front of me, of course. So I'm like trying to reach around here. All right, we got some nice colors. Let's go for something also kind of bright.
I'm also trying recording this on my new Blue Yeti mic. I'm still figuring it out. Audio is something I've had zero experience in in my creative endeavors up until now. Um, so it's quite a learning curve, but I appreciate you guys being patient with me and hopefully I'll figure it out and it should hopefully sound better than previous videos. Please let me know if it doesn't and if the audio quality on this video is just not what you like, I can just switch back to using the regular iPhone. I just thought maybe it would help things. We'll see. Alright, let's go over to this page, why not? What is what do we have here? Blue pencil. And as you can see, I also flip my sketchbooks all around, back and forth. I don't really work in uh, one orientation very much. I just kind of do what I feel is right. showing up. All right, we'll go with the lighter. It's much better. When I hear those sounds at the front door, that means my husband's getting ready to take Zelda out for a walk. So I might have to disappear and come back. There's something so fun in a sketchbook about using different materials. I just love doing that and seeing how they work together. person needs to get their car fixed. That was a loud noise. I bet this really sensitive mic is picking up all of that noise outside. 
Ay, ay, ay. That's what I get for starting a video during rush hour time. There we go. Got a little something starting to happen here. Okay. Let me go downstairs and see what's going on with my dog. Be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. The dog has walked and I'm gonna get back into it. Let's work on this side a little bit. Oh, and I gotta show you guys. This is what I'm using. General's charcoal pencil. 6B soft. So you can see it is soft. Deep breath. Feels nice. I would normally have music on right now, but since I am recording, I'm not going to do that. I also would normally have the heat on but I was worried about background noise, but considering how loud these cars are, I guess I shouldn't have been that worried. Like I said, that's what I get for filming during rush hour. <laughs> but tell me in the comments, what are your favorite color combination, materials? What do you really look for when you're starting in a new sketchbook? Is each sketchbook different? Do you usually have a project in mind? For me, I usually take mine with me on vacation and it's usually sort of a little document of my trip, but since I haven't took a single vacation since all of this started, I am having to find new ways to use my sketchbook, I guess. So yeah, using it as a little warm up is good. So as you can see, just making all different types of marks, different materials, just familiarizing myself all over again with it getting comfortable back in my process. That's, that's what we like to do. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Art is not a perfect practice. And for most of you, you're not gonna have to share your sketchbooks unless you like to. It's just for you. Just focus on yourself, feeling, carve out, maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, just for yourself to work in your sketchbook. Something about it helps you get back to that place of comfort. And, you know, you might realize things in the process, things that you hadn't thought about before. It can be very meditative. It just sort of depends on what your approach is to sketchbooking. I know some people are a bit more stringent, but for me, it's just about having fun, making some marks, and getting reconnected with my creative side after a little break. I was trying to remember the last time I actually made a piece of art and I think it was right before other art fair, which was in November, because I was in high production mode then, making lots of things. And then after that fair, I had I had uh, art fair 14C, and then right after that, I launched my holiday shop. And then after that, I spent a lot of time packaging, shipping things, the holidays happened. 
So I really feel like now is sort of getting back into that productive time. For me, winter is my most, I guess, productive time in terms of art making, not because it's particularly my favorite. If I could, I would just sleep all day, but <laughs> I think we would all like to hibernate. But with that said, it is the time that I have the least deadlines and I'm sort of able to just focus on my creative practice because things will pick back up in the spring and I already have a few things planned. So taking this important time to reflect, recharge, and ease my way back into my practice is the way of doing things. And I don't know what you guys have going on in your lives, but just finding that little sliver of time, it can really make a difference in your mentality, especially during these winter months. If you live in this hemisphere in the cold weather and you just, it is, it can feel a little down, but there's something about working on artwork that just brings me back up. Okay, so this is what we have going on. And we have a lot of blues and orange and some yellow in there. I feel like we should throw a different color in there, right? Because why not? Let's see what we can do. I have these colored pencils. Let's see if any of these stand out. This green's kind of fun. Let's try this. Mallard green. Hmm. Do I want to start over here? I feel like something's calling me to start here. Do another circle. We'll fill this one in though. Got lots of dots happening. Dots on tops of dots. Why not? here as well. We have this color in this side. And we'll just do that same over here. Why not? me trying not to shake my camera, realizing I was doing that. Sorry. <laughs> it's just how it is. white dots are really standing out as an expression here. So I feel like I want something here. And I think I'm gonna go with a Posca marker back into that dark blue maybe. And it's kind of mimicking the spread across from it, that's okay. Like I said, we're just doing what feels comfortable, what feels natural. I'm 
know a lot of people in the new year make resolutions to themselves about what they're going to do but I was on my peloton watching one of the stretching videos or not watching I was participating I was doing it but he was talking about instead of resolutions why don't we make promises to ourselves because a promise is something you would do for a friend or a family and that you would keep so just maybe think about that this year if there's any promises you want to keep to yourself what would those be I know another thing for me is I like to think of maybe a word as opposed to a specific thing that I want to focus on in the year and for me this year the two words I want to focus on ironically is focus is one of them and growth is the other because I'm not looking to add more into my life. I think I have enough. I'm happy with what I have. And I just want to focus on those things and let those things grow and blossom, not add more, 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 more. Only adding more, more, more in my sketchbook, <laughs> but not into my life, if that makes any sense. But I did like hearing that, the idea of keeping a promise to yourself. So I hope that you guys have some creative promises that you're thinking about that you want to keep for yourselves. If we do some lines in here. I always like it when the dots are going this way to have the lines go this way. Just switch that up so it's not as symmetrical. No, having that contrast and flow. I enjoy that. Let's see if there's anything else we want to throw in here just for fun. I mean, this page is really wild. This is totally different from what I would normally do, but we're fine with that. That's what we said we would do here. Has its marks that we should have something in here too so that let's pick something else for there that was just charcoal but maybe we do a darker color how about this color here pomegranate it's a prisma color oh similar to this actually I'm not against that though Airplane flying overhead. It's kind of funny to hear that because it was so quiet without airplanes constantly flying overhead for so long. Now you're back to hearing them. Or at least I hope where you live you don't get too many airplanes flying overhead. <laughs> Before here I live near JFK. You could hear the airplanes and now I live near uh, Newark International. So 
just seems to be a thing where I live. There's always an airplane nearby. I do miss traveling though. We'll see, maybe this year I'll get to go somewhere. That would be nice. As of now, no plans, but you never know. I'm open to it. Okay. Here we go. I feel happy with how this spread is for now. Let's just move on to the next. Let's not waste any time. Okay, so here's our two spreads that we did. Am I in love with them? No, not particularly, but that's not the point. It's just sort of, like I said, to get that creative muscle going again so I can get back into my usual art making routine. So this is a good start. I will probably do a couple more pages on my own, but I feel this video is already long enough, so I'm going to sign off here. Uh, if you want to see what I make, follow me on Instagram at fionac.myc, and otherwise I will see you here next week where we will be getting back into making some paintings, drawings, and ceramics. So until then, stay well and stay inspired, my friends. Bye.